Hi there, this is Florida Native. My name is Leah. I wanted to bring you guys out here. I'm outside in nature. I love being outside. Hopefully you guys do too. I just wanted to maybe break up your day a little bit. Maybe you just are watching my video and you came across it. And I think that everything happens for a reason. So I just want to bring you out here. Maybe you have some, a lot of things on your plate right now. Maybe you're traveling and you're helping family. Perhaps you are just wanting to escape your day-to-day -day reality. So this is my purpose. I am bringing you out into our orchard and um, look at the greenery. Hopefully this will help you get out of your head a little bit. It does help me. Uh, I love being out in nature. I love just enjoying everything that God gives us on this earth. It is a very short time that we spend in a lifetime. And um, the sun, I love the sun. I'm out here with the fruit. There's probably creatures like in the background somewhere hiding in the woods. So I just want to touch base with you guys. I know I haven't done a video, like a long video inside in a while. It's just been really crazy. Not crazy, it's just life. Everyone has it. I'm sure you guys have tons of things on your plate and as everyone does, but it's nice to come out here and be around the trees and just be in nature. Sometimes I'll see a woodpecker. The other day I saw an armadillo <laughs> and then apparently that we have deer because I haven't seen that one yet. I haven't seen a deer up close and personal, but I've seen the fox. I haven't seen, um, oh, actually I saw turkeys the other day. So I'm out here picking persimmons. I have a few orders and here's one right here. Look how pretty that one is. <laughs> So I'm just kind of taking a break. I've been, in, I'm all sprayed up so I don't, the mosquitoes aren't bad right now. It's about five o'clock on Thursday. And I'm just walk, walking the fields. I don't know if you can see me move out of the way, how you can see the orchard. Yeah, I gotta come back out here with my lawnmower. It's really quiet. It's really quiet. So, went to see a couple of movies with my mom, my brother, and my cousin. I have a first cousin that's here from California. I asked him if he wanted to come pick some fruit with me to fill the orders, but he said he was allergic to grass. I know he has a lot of allergies, but I think he's just not used to this hot weather here in Florida. It's pretty humid. It's about, what, 90, 91? It's in the 90s right now, and it's already 5 o'clock. So I just wanted to um, say hello and let you know that I'm still here. I just haven't had a lot of time to... Um, to really be out doing my videos on a regular. But hopefully it'll give you a chance to catch up with some of my older videos. It's a good time right now. Right now it's, um, although my grandmother has passed, I know that where she is 
where her consciousness is, where her soul is, is a place of beauty and love, the love that you couldn't even imagine unless, you know, unless you feel it and you've experienced it. A lot of people, I did a video before on how we commune with God, how do we have a relationship with God. And God shows us beauty everywhere. He gives us messages everywhere. I like to come out here. I love to come out in nature. Look at it. Look at this tree full of, full of fruit. Who grew that fruit? How was that fruit there? Who created that fruit? This is actually my happy place. I don't know. Where is your happy place? If you don't have a happy place, maybe maybe your happy place is not at home. Maybe there's so much chaos. Maybe there's maybe there's difficult relationships that you're not able to um, mend right now. Maybe it's a situation where you have to leave where you are and you haven't made that decision but if you listen to your guidance listen to your intuition listen to that gut feeling whether it's in relationships or moving to a new place for your career or decisions you need to make uh, with children or your parents that are elderly or Maybe it's your own personal struggles. Maybe maybe there's some habits or things that you want to overcome. Maybe it's chronic illness. There's an ant on my camera. <laughs> maybe maybe it's addictions. Maybe it's all of the above. Know that you can always find the answers within yourself, but try to find that happy place for yourself. Like I said, I, if you've been watching my videos, I take you guys outside a lot. This is a persimmon orchard that my parents my parents created in their 50s. In their 50s. They're already 50 years old before. Oh, I see a persimmon up there <laughs> uh, that I want to get. Um, they were 50 years old when they they planted a thousand trees on less than three acres, two acres. And my dad had the foresight to plant them close together. So it's a high density orchard. It had a thousand trees. Since then, it's been 25 almost 30 years since these were planted so we've had some trees die back but maybe he was thinking about me maybe he was thinking about anyone who wanted to come out here anyone who loves nature and he actually you know created his legacy well, we have hundreds of families over the years that have come and enjoyed picking fruit from our orchard. So, this is my happy place. We all need a happy place. Sometimes, maybe it's not outdoors. Maybe it, maybe it's in your room or there's a special room just for you or maybe it's your garage maybe a, it's a man cave but wherever you decide 
to have <laughs> these ants a place of your own, a place that you can commune with God, a place where you could have just some time for yourself and to reflect on your spiritual life and the things that you want to change and the things that you want to um, do. You know, we can't change other people. But sometimes you have to really take that time to reflect on what's going on around you and being aware of things that make you feel good, things that make you not feel good, people that anytime you're around them, maybe it's always chaotic. Maybe it's just not good energy for you. We make those decisions. We have free will, so we can do that anytime for ourselves. So this is just a little message for someone out there, maybe a few of you, that need to change your environment. Um, change your thoughts. Maybe even change the people that you, you surround yourself with. You know, if you're not in a happy place, if, you don't, if you're not doing things that bring you joy, if you're not doing things that uplift you, if you're not around people, or if you have that group of friends that no longer bring you joy, or no longer... Um, you, you feel like you're no longer growing with those people. It could be. It could even be family members. It could be your your partner. It could be. It could be anyone. Even people at work. You know, take it how it resonates. We all have are given free will, and you don't have to be with the same. I guess group you could always move yourself away and it's for your own self discovery and your own development and your own um, your growth in every aspect we all sometimes we outgrow people and that's okay you want to bless them and hope that they they grow and they develop and they're prosperous. I always hope that people, um, even people that have wronged me or, you know, maybe even they don't like me. That's okay. Not everyone's going to like you. But do what makes you happy. You know, if you don't want to go to a party, you know, with this set, set group of friends. Or if you don't want to go to a um, if you don't want to do something that you don't want to do, then don't do it. Listen to your gut feeling. Listen to what your emotions tell you. Listen to what your body tells you. This is the only way we're able to navigate this world and our life and, and the path that we're supposed to be on. And everyone's path is individual. Everyone's story is unique, like I always say. So trust yourself. Really, and I'm never telling anybody what to do. <laughs> I always say that. But being able to discern what is right for you and what is not can make all the difference in the world it changes your timelines it changes it can change the outcome of whatever your situation is so remember that every choice that you make every single choice that you make can potentially change your life good or bad all right 
those are that's the message for today and I'm gonna start picking some persimmons now because I have a lot of orders thank you guys for watching hopefully this message gave you some type of value and I hope that you have like an amazing amazing rest of your week take care